Is it even possible to go from demolition to addition using SketchUp Pro and Layout? Yeah, I did it. And I even made a full set of construction documents. Hey, I'm Mike Brightman, and I design homes in Denver, Colorado using SketchUp Pro and Layout. These programs have permeated every phase of my design process, from recording existing conditions, to generating and iterating concepts, to precise construction documents. In this video, you join me on a two-year renovation journey. I'm gonna show you how I designed and documented a massive home renovation in Denver, Colorado using SketchUp Pro and Layout powered by the Conduct Tools extension. Along the way, I'm gonna introduce you to the supporting cast of my favorite extensions, applications, and resources that complement my design process. Let's rewind the clock to summer of 2020. Here's the house I was hired to design what we call in Denver a pop-top renovation. The first step of any renovation project is documenting what's there. With an iPad Pro and the Canvas app, I can easily scan an entire house within an hour. I upload the scan to Canvas, and for a small fee, they email me back a super accurate 3D model. We're off to a great start, but what I really need are drawings I can print. Flex is the default drawing set on a fresh Condoc install. I'll tell you more about drawing sets in just a moment. Flex automates drawings from any SketchUp model with any tags, even this Canvas model. It's flexible. You just need to manually toggle tag visibility to control what you will see in plan. Using the Conduct Tools plan generator, I automate plan scenes each level of the house with just a few clicks. Click here to open the Conduct Drawing Export dialog. It's easy to send all the scenes to layout as quarter inch scale plans. In layout, I start a new presentation using one of the seven professional title blocks included with a Conduct Tools subscription. All of my exported drawings land in the Conduct Drawing Scrapbook with line weights and render settings automatically optimized. Now I just drag and drop existing conditions drawings. And just like that, I have drawings I can sketch over. This is my favorite part. Personally, I still like to use a T-square trace and triangles to work out my initial space plan concepts. Are you with me on that? Or do you just start designing in SketchUp? Let me know in the comments. Once I have a viable concept, I scan the sketches and import them into layout. Now, I use the Conduct 2D scrapbook to quickly and accurately trace my sketches with professional scale graphics. This step forces me to make my sketches real and also gives me a chance to add accuracy and details that are left out of hand drawings. I continue working the space plan, layering on detail until I'm ready to tackle the exterior. Export the concept plans as a PDF and then import the PDF plans into SketchUp. John Brock's PDF importer, I can't live without it. Stack them at approximate floor heights and start exploring some exterior options. I'm still working quick and loose at this point. I don't want to be hung up on grouping and tagging. I want to leverage SketchUp for what it was originally made for, 3D sketching. So I push and pull a few mass models, then choose a concept to carve out a solid void study and even add materials. Once again, Conduct's flex drawing set comes into play. I use the elevation tool to click on each side of the house to snapshot elevation drawing scenes. No tagging or model organization yet. These early models are light and easy to edit. Notice that all elevation scenes are automatically named and numbered, and the shadows are all at a perfect 45 degree angle. Stock SketchUp doesn't do that. Click the Conduct Drawings export to compile the elevation scenes into scaled layout drawings. Now back to layout to drag and drop the elevation drawings into the document I already started. Call me old school, but I think it's so important to pull designs out of the computer. I want a real object that I can hold and redline when I'm presenting. Once the client signs off on the concept, it's time to dig in on the final precise model that will be linked to our permit drawings. I start by extruding the walls horizontally, leaving behind line markers for openings. Next, I punch some openings and infill with the Conduct dynamic door and window components. They're available in the featured Conduct Tools collection on the 3D Warehouse. Just download one into your model, scale and snap to the rough opening, and watch it rebuild the 3D object that will be used for perspective, elevation, and section drawings, as well as the 2D graphic for plans. This model is coming alive. It's truly a digital prototype of what's to be built. So why not send it to Lumion to create stills and animations? Clients love these visuals. I also spend time exploring my designs in virtual reality with one click from Enscape. It's surreal to have memories of walking the house even though I had never been there. Honestly, you can use any rendering program you like. My system is flexible and the models are light. Now let's get technical. Any design project can be fully described by level, element, location, and condition tags. 
load one of the professional drawing sets to reprogram the Conduct tools to automate drawings for your industry with our prescribed tags. The Architect drawing set automates all the tag styles and drawings described in my book. This is like instant SketchUp standards for your office. There's 25 element tags included in the Architect drawing set. You can assign unlimited Conduct tags to any group or component with a quick click to tag and again to untag. This system is infinitely faster than nesting groups and using the stock SketchUp tag dropdown. And yet, Conduct tag visibility is still controlled through the SketchUp tags dialog. This means that Conduct tags are backwards compatible with your old projects and familiar. It truly feels like you're assigning multiple SketchUp tags to one entity. I've wanted this feature for over a decade. Since objects are now on known tags, we can automate specific drawings like roof and electrical plans, even demolition and construction plans with proper hatching. Have you ever heard of stacking viewports in layout? Well, Conduct does that for you. Once again, run the drawing export to send all of these scenes over to layout, compiled as complete drawings, with optimized line weights, hatches, and render settings. Drag and drop drawings onto one of the included construction documents title blocks. I like to lay out a cartoon set first, so I can get an idea of which drawings will fit where. The architect drawing set automates all of the drawings you need to properly document a design. Next, I dip into the Conduct Annotation Scrapbook to add graphically complementary symbols, text, and dimensions. These resources magically appear on your computer when you install the Conduct RBZ in SketchUp, and they're yours to keep, even if you cancel and don't pay a dime. Now you might be wondering, how are you going to convince your structural engineer to use SketchUp? Don't bother, just run the background drawings from the plan generator, then export the scenes as 2D DWGs. Email them over, and they'll never even know you're using SketchUp. So check out these permit drawings. And check out this house. It's amazing. I was able to explore the spaces in 3D before construction, make more informed design decisions, and pump out precise permit drawings faster than ever before. I did it all using SketchUp Pro and Layout, powered by the Conduct Tools extension. You can do this too. The Conduct workflow is perfect for architects, interior designers, landscape architects, builders, woodworkers, anyone who needs 2D drawings from their 3D designs. Using our configuration tool, Conduct can be customized to your needs to automate industry-specific drawings from your industry-specific tags. Plus, you can share these standards with your team in a .conduct file. Start your free seven-day trial and immediately gain access to the game-changing Conduct tags and all of our tools, resources, and courses. Whether you choose a monthly or annual subscription, you get everything we make. Give it a shot, and I'll be there to help you get started. If you need a moment to mull it over, download the final SketchUp model and layout permit drawings I just showed you from the link in the description. Then check out our latest upload while you're clicking around. It's gonna blow your mind. I'll see you in there.